Distinguishing Characteristics of Invertebrates Invertebrates are animals that do not have backbone. Groups of Invertebrates Porephyra or sponges, known as the pore-bearing animals. The porephyrins are marine animals full of pores or holes. These holes serve as passage for water which carries nutrients and gases. Sponges or pore-bearing animals belong to this group. Cnidarians or coelenterates. There are over 10,000 kinds of these marine animals. They are mostly found in the oceans. Few are found in fresh water. Cnidarians are diverse but can be classified into three groups. The hydras, jellyfishes, corals, and sea animals. Corals live in colonies. They have a skeleton made of limestone which eventually becomes structures called coral reefs. Cnidarians have stinging structures called nematocytes. These are bared threads tipped with poison which are ejected like a dart to paralyze a prey or to defend the dinarians against other animals. Worms have bodies that look like ribbons. They have no space inside so they have no digestive system. Flatworms or flatihelminthes. Flatworms are called such because of their flat and ribbon-like bodies. They do not have body cavities that contain developed circulatory or respiratory organs. They feed by sucking out juices from the body or prey. Some flatworms such as tapeworms and flocks are parasitic. A tapeworm's body is a series of segments. Each segment has both male and female sex organs. This arrangement makes production fast and convenient. There are also non-parasitic flatworms, such as planarians. The flatworms are found in lakes and ponds. They feed on smaller organisms, both living and dead. Roundworms or nematoda. They have long, smooth, and rounded bodies which often have rings, bristles, or ridges that aid in locomotion or protection. They are found in the water, soil, or in other plants and animals as parasites. Some roundworms such as hookworms, pinworms, ascaris, filarial worms, and trichina worms are parasites. Ascaris, hookworms, and pinworms can enter the stomach and intestines and cause damage. Trichina worms infest the tongue and diaphragm and cause them serious injury. Filarial worms can infest the body and make legs and feet swell. Segmented worms or annelida. They have long, segmented bodies. Their bodies allow them to burrow in the soil or swim in the water easily. Annelids can be found in land, in fresh water, and even in salt water. The first segment in annelids' body contains the brain and sense organs, while the rearmost segment contains the anus. Annelids have digestive system, circulatory system, and nervous system. They do not have respiratory system. They have to breathe through their skin. That is why their skin needs to be moist all the time. Many annelids live under rocks or burrow into the soil to get food and prevent their bodies from drying up. Example are earthworms which loosens the soil as it burrows, making it very useful in maintaining the aeration and hydration of the soil. Some annelids, like leeches, live on other animals or plants. Mollusk or mollusca Mollusks are invertebrates that have soft bodies and may be covered with hard shells. The most common mollusks are snails, clams, oysters, squids, and octopus. This group make up the largest group of aquatic animals. Some mollusks, like octopus and squid, have a shell-like structure called a pen inside their bodies. Some, like garden and sea slugs, do not have shells at all. 
There are molars that have tongue-like structure with many rows of teeth which are used to scrape food attached to rocks as well as to filter food from the water. There are also some that possess tentacles to help catch live prey and aid their movement in water. The echinoderms or echinodermata, known as the spiny-skinned aquatic animals, they include starfish, sand dollar, and sea urchin. All echinoderms live in marine environment and most of them preferring to stay at the bottom of the sea. Echinoderms do not have a head end of a tail end. Underneath their bodies are tube feet which they use for movement. The bodies of echinoderms have an internal network of fluid-filled canals that are connected through a large body cavity. This makes feeding, moving, and sensing their surroundings easier. They also have a simple digestive system that differs depending on what they eat. Some echinoderms can make digestive system slip out of their bodies so they can digest food outside their bodies. Arthropods. Arthropods form the largest group of any animals, whether in the number of types or number of animals. They are found in freshwater, marine, and terrestrial habitats. Some of them are even able to fly. No matter how huge this group is, all arthropods share common characteristics that distinguish them from other group of animals. They have a hard outer body covering called exoskeleton, jointed legs, segmented body, compound eyes, and specialized body parts. The four groups of arthropods are insects, crustaceans, spiders, centipedes, and millipedes. Insects Insects are small, six-legged animals or have three pairs of walking legs two pairs of wings, and a pair of antennae. Their bodies are divided into three parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. They are the most numerous animals on Earth. Insects undergo molting, wherein their skeleton is replaced as they grow larger. The exoskeleton protects the arthropods from injury and drying up. It also aids in feeding and locomotion. Their exoskeleton is one reason why arthropods have existed and roamed the earth. Examples are bees, swamps, butterflies, cockroaches, ladybugs, fireflies, termites, moth, and grasshoppers. Crustaceans are a group of arthropods with two pairs of antennae, have hard outer body covering or exoskeleton. Their bodies are divided into three regions, the head, thorax, and abdomen. They have gills for breathing. Well-known crustaceans are shrimps, crabs, and lobsters. The spiders are arachnids. They live on land. They have two body regions, the cephalothorax and abdomen. They have four pairs of legs. They breathe through their trachea or booklangs. Other arachnids include mites, Ticks and scorpions. Centipedes or millipedes, or what we call the myropods, are segmented anthropods. They are the millipedes which have two pairs of legs in every segment of their body, and the centipedes which have one pair of legs in every segment of their body. Centipedes are carnivorous and have poisonous fangs in their mouth. Millipedes are dentrativores, meaning they feed on dead plant and animal matter. Some arthropods, like certain crustaceans and insects, undergo a life cycle wherein they change in form, behavior, and sometimes even habitat. This cycle is called metamorphosis.